The longtime team doctor for the Tampa Bay Rays will not be returning to the locker room. The team released Dr. Michael Riley after a St. Petersburg woman posted a YouTube video claiming the doctor sexually abused her. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard joins us now live from Tropicana Field with more on this. Hi there, Jen, and that doctor had been with the team for 20 years. The woman claims that the abuse started 10, 8 to 10 years ago when she worked in Dr. Riley's office. He would just touch me, and it just, you know, without getting specific, it just got worse. On YouTube, Bree Holzerland says Ray's team doctor Michael Riley started the abuse after her babysitting job for him turned into a position at his medical office. He would put his hand on my hand. He would just show up behind me. He would put his hand on my shoulder and, like, lightly rub my back. Not knowing who to tell, Bree believes Dr. Riley took advantage of her naive nature. And he would shut the door and try to kiss me. And what do you say when you have four other people working there and you have to listen to the person that you work for? The Rays issued a statement saying, we have ended our contractual relationship with him and have also alerted the St. Petersburg Police Department and Major League Baseball of this situation. St. Anthony's owner, Baycare, wrote, it is waiting for more information before deciding next steps and we are concerned about the nature of the allegations and are empathetic towards any victims of sexual abuse. Police so far have no complaints. Those are some very serious allegations, so it's our duty to look into these allegations and that's what we're doing at this point. We're reviewing that and doing some fact finding. Nobody answered the door at Dr. Riley's house. Bree fears the abuse is continuing. Because he's not locked up. He's, I mean, he's still out there doing this. Bree posted on her Facebook page. She stepped forward now after seeing the former Olympic gymnastics doctor go to jail. I exchanged several texts with Bree's mother. She says that she is uh, overwhelmed by what's going on with all this, and she's not ready to do any on-camera interviews. Jen? Peter Bernard, live in St. Petersburg for us tonight. Thank you, Peter.